Hey everyone, so today I'm in a little bit different environment, but it's just where I'm at. So what I want to get into today is something we haven't really gotten into, and that's are more expensive lenses better, or as one of my favorite car channels might say, is more expensive, more better. And mm, mm, let's find out, because yeah, it's going to be interesting. First of all, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe and like down below because we get into a lot of this different lens tech stuff, sunglasses reviews. We have some fun along the way, or at least I have some fun. I hope you do too. We'll see how it goes. Now, what we're actually here to talk about today is something that really, you know, it comes up a lot because glasses, lenses, frames, all of it, it's really pretty expensive, especially as you get into the nicer products out there. So. I do say nicer specifically with the intent of the design because it doesn't always work out that way. It really varies depending on your needs and really what the prescription is if it even makes a difference for you. So with all of the different lens materials, all of the different lens designs out there, does it really make a difference to spend more on the lenses? And you know, it, again, it really, really varies. If your needs call for that more expensive lens, yeah, it can be much, much better if it's properly fit. So here's the thing, as you get into more advanced lenses, the design relies more and more on good in to get great out of it. What that amounts to is if things aren't centered properly over the eye, all the calculations across that lens surface that we do, you know, you've got these fancy algorithms that calculate based on the tilt of the frame, and even take as far in as the rough shape of the eye based on what the prescription measurements are. And if the measurements for the frame or the prescription are off in any sort of way, you can imagine that as this goes on, it pretty quickly gets compounding errors. So as you would look away from the center, the prescription is adjusted for what you should be seeing based on all the measurements that went into the lens design. So if you have put bad numbers in, you can imagine how quickly that compounds to bad numbers back out. So a lot of times you hear this question come up and that is, you know, can I get my glasses online really cheap and see just as well or maybe even better than I could with the expensive glasses from the optician or the doctor's office or whatever the case may be. And yeah, <laughs> If bad numbers are going in, then yeah, probably. What happens with a lot of these online companies that use more basic lens designs, older traditional surfacing techniques and stuff that really just allows for a higher margin of error because the older designs, they didn't have these calculations. So, you know, it was pretty much the same prescription across the surface of the lens, maybe in a spheric design if you're lucky, where it's just some generic calculations that run it out from where the center of it is in front of the eye. But still, you know, you had a nice little zone there that was kind of clumped together before it really started to ramp off to the outer edges. And, you know, it, it helps the vision to some degree. It's definitely better than nothing, and it's certainly better than a poorly fit freeform or digital design, and definitely better than a really expensive design fit really badly. And I say this a lot to even my own clients, a very basic lens fit really, really damn well is going to work better than a really, really good lens fit very badly. If you're saving a budget, it comes down to how the fit is. And let's be honest, not everyone is super particular. Weird stuff happens sometimes. Things come out wrong. Well, I'm even wrong once in a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it happens. Trust me. Oh, uh, but when the measurements going in are bad, everything else is bad from there. Uh, take this guy, for example, if the engine wasn't right, nothing else would matter, right? If the heart of it's wrong, everything else is wrong and it gets really, really bad. So just like the freeform lenses I mentioned before, particularly progressive lenses, if everything changes from here, all the way out to here based on where your eyes are and what your eye may be. And any of that's wrong, it doesn't work very well. 
I've actually run into this before, and this is a really interesting topic. Maybe we'll get into this specifically on another video in the future, but cataract surgery does affect this. The really expensive lens designs, as I mentioned earlier, rely on the prescription numbers to determine what your eye might actually be like. So basically the length of the eye, some other measurements, and rough calculations about the corneal surface based on the prescription. Now, if you had a really strong prescription before cataract surgery, and now you don't, and now you need glasses a few years down the road for whatever reason, whatever the case may be, well, now the lens is confused. It doesn't know what the hell's going on because your eye is still that minus six or plus four or whatever the case may be. And yeah, it just isn't gonna work out like you would expect. And in that case, you do actually have to back up and punt. It's better to go to these lens designs like the online companies use that don't take all that extra stuff into account. It is better to use a cheap lens in that case. I know that sounds absolutely insane that these $100 or $200 lenses would actually perform better in those cases than, say, a $1,000 or $1,500 lens at the upper end of things. But it's just true because when you calculate based on the eye and the eye is not what's expected, it doesn't work out very well. Now, there are occasions it works okay, but it's definitely not going to be an optimal performance. So the short version there is... Just be aware of what you're getting. If the lens design isn't calculated for your uses or it's not calculated for your eye or <laughs> not the prescription at all even, or the measurements are way off, all these errors start to compound and stack up. So it really does make a big difference if you're getting a more expensive lens to have perfectly somebody that knows what the hell they're doing to help and make that process better to make the lens design better. It's good in, good out, bad in, bad out. It's just what you get. If you start with something bad and you do it really good, then you're going to still end up with something pretty okay. And that's what these online companies rely on. So that's where that comes from. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling for now for today. But that gives you at least a little bit of an idea of why the online companies can sometimes get it better than the more expensive guys. Yeah. It happens. Opticians are killing themselves in some ways. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. I will catch you guys next time.